I decided to rip apart my $1,000 Mesa Boogie amp and start from scratch, rebuild it out of flamed maple, and this was the final result. Join me as we go through the entire building process. This was a 10 hour build and I managed to get it down to under an hour for the entire playback. I hope you enjoy. This is my custom Nomad 55, made out of the most beautiful quilted maple. All right, today we're doing something cool. We're gonna be building, rebuilding my Mesa Boogie amplifier. And this is the Mesa over here. And it's, it's a nice amp. It's always been a great amp, but I wanna build it out of wood. I build everything out of wood now. This is called flame maple, but it's like marble flame maple. It's ridiculous. We have our dimensions. Say la vie, this piece is going to the project. I mean, sometimes you get lucky and pick the right spot. Some If you missed earlier segment, I took apart my Mesa Boogie amplifier, which was really cool. It's a Mesa Nomad 55. It's sought after, it's a collector's item, but we're building something new. So stick with me as we finish this project. I already set the speaker. <clears throat> And we're ready to start placing this puppy back together in my own way. <laughs> yeah! That's how we do it, people! So, my name is Mark Pyers, host of the longest running daily show on earth, The Mark Inspire Show. So, what we're doing is we're cutting wood. You haven't seen any of those fucking cuts? Gosh, almighty Mark, you're here doing it. They didn't see it. They're not seeing the cuts at all. You're making the cuts. We're cutting it. There's cuts going on over here. You missed a few of them. Because I, I don't have the proper camera technique going right now, Bob Vila style. But now we're in it. Now we're doing it. And here we go. Guys, this is a Mesa Boogie Nomad 55. I'm sorry, no, it, uh, it was a Mesa Boogie Nomad 55. All right. Yes, I need a better, I need to sharpen this sucker. Give me a second, guys. Gosh almighty, stupid freaking old school pencil sharpener. <sighs> Guys, when you're in like a workshop, you gotta go old school. <sighs> you can't go. <sighs> you know, you gotta go and you get the uh, sweat. Breaking a sweat. I'm gonna do this. I just broke the freaking. Guys, I just spent seven hours trying to sharpen this one. Almost got hit by a clamp. I have it up there because it's for the drill press, guys. You, you get it.
blood to prove it before from the pencil sharpener. When you're a woodworker and you gotta use a pencil sharpener, you better draw blood. <laughs> Got it. It's part of the code. Part of the code. We're going to cut this bottom to be exactly like the top. You never come back down till you're down, grounded, yeah, you can't be found, no, you're off the grid, oh, you never come back down, no. You say jump, I say how high, yeah. I'll jump and touch the sky, yeah. You know I'll never come back down. Never come back, come back down. I'm glad I'm cataloging this. I just hope I didn't miss that whole center part where we did all of this, got all the cuts. Bottom, top. We got a lot done here. I mean, honestly, this is gonna be a freaking gorgeous piece when it's done. Let's sand it all down, fill up all the nail holes and everything else, pop the speakers in, screw it in, nail it in, whatever the freaking hell I'm gonna do, I don't know yet. So it fits in nice. I'll never know because it was sliding the bottom piece under. It'll look like mint afterwards. Alright, I could do that. So I'll snap out the bottom of that Mesa thing tomorrow. Alright, we're back. We're doing it again. We're in the shop putting together the amplifier. This is what we had originally. This is a Mesa boogie. Nomad 55 is what this is called. And after pulling it apart, this is what we have now, which will be a new Nomad 55, but all flamed maple. This is gonna be absolutely stunning when it's done. Much better than the original Mesa Boogie. Mesa Boogie, it's a great amp company, very good amp company, but you made a crap amp here when you decided to put it together out of plywood a plywood Mesa Boogie. They're all, they're all plywood Mesa Boogie, by the way. They all make them out of plywood. Three quarter inch plywood, half inch plywood. This is three quarter. I'm using three quarter to one inch flamed maple. And let's get this thing started and finished, okay? So yesterday, I built the box, put the speaker in, cut the hole. I ripped apart the Mesa Boogie. It's gone. The Mesa Boogie shit. It's done. It's gone. It's over. 
No more Mesa Boogie Nomad 55. It's ripped apart. Hundreds of pieces all over the place. This is what we're left with. One step closer, now we start our sanding. Because here's the thing. I want to get right to the I want to get this thing done. I'm, I'm done. We're doing it. Alright, Mesa Boogie, I'm coming for you. You make, how do I build one that nice? Sorry, you're just the company. Uh yeah. We do it here. The mark has wood. our nails, at least our gaps in the top that are filled. sure there's a little bit of an issue here. This goes down three inches to the peak. So I have to do some serious sanding here for this to be just right. But I'm prepared. I got a, like a, one of those crazy like belt sanders. We're going to use that. I want to make sure this is perfect. We're, we're only doing it once. Let's do it right. You watch this on that day. Take a page out of the book, yeah. Read the directions. Welcome back. We're in the process. We are about to stain. I take that back. Die. We are about to die. The amp. If you guys don't remember what we started with, I'll show you. Just unplug this because we don't need it anymore. This, this was my Mesa Boogie Nomad amp, killer amp. In fact, it's kind of sacrilege that I did this. But I didn't want to have an amp that was made out of plywood, even if it's a Mesa Boogie amplifier. So I ripped the freaking thing apart, literally took everything out, built myself a new one, and we are about to embark on the dying process.
them down. Now we're gonna let this baby dry, black. And let me just give you a look at it. This is the most beautiful piece of flame maple. It's hard to see in the light here, but that's the, probably the best way to see it right now. But. Once this is going to be red, sanded, then red, and then sanded, then yellow, it's going to be fire. I don't need no plane, no. I'll use my wings and go. I'm going to fly high above all the negativity this world's been bringing. I'm flying. And after we're all done, we'll have a new Mesa Boogie. Remember, it started as this. See, we're basically back to square one now. Look at that. Back to square one, except this is all flamed maple, and this is some freaking piece of crap factory plywood. We don't like plywood. We don't like factory. This is Mark has wood. We use it. So if you can, guys, subscribe to Mark has wood on YouTube so you can see the final product and see the whole transformation there we go beautiful Woo! I'm looking at it already it's just looking beautiful and it's not even like I visualize I see where it's going you guys only see this black thing right now and it looks cool as hell in black but honestly I already had a black amp I'm sanding the fucking shit out of this one we're going red, and then we're going yellow, and then it's going to look like a tiger. You excited for it? I'm excited for it. Uh, thanks for watching. I will be back later to finish up. So we're back. We're back with part six or something like that. Now, some people use stains when they finish wood. I use dyes. Because dyes rock. They allow you to like, use multiple colors to get different effects. And something I'm doing here is, first and foremost, you put the first color on, which is black, you sand it all off, you put a second color on, I use orange, sand that all off, and then you put a yellow on, and it looks like a tiger. pull off a lot of the dye and you get back to the original color. So when I bring in the next, which is going to be the red, you'll see this thing start to pop. I'll zoom in on that later so you can see that. You want, you want to see some white popping through? I don't want to lose all of that darkness, so I don't want to go too deep in there, but I kind of want to go a little lower. Perfect! Let me show you that. side, flame maple on the top, flame maple.
Hands are dirty. All right, guys, I'll be back to finish this up. Part of this process is making my own dyes. So what we're going to do is mix a dye right now. So you guys can see how I do this. Okay. So we're gonna just do a drop and a drop. put a little lacquer thinner with this in order to make our concoction open your mind I you can see it all so clearly I can see you clearly the angels singing in the sky here. is color number three so what we're gonna do is sand down color number two and get color number three in the mix so what do we do here mark we sand it down like a mofo just like the last time and I know you're looking at it and you're like why would you sand it down mark it's perfect right now and you're not wrong it is kind of perfect if we were going for like a cherry cola vibe you know if we were going for a cherry cola vibe we kind of have it right here. I mean, this is pretty ridiculous. 
but we're not going for cherry cola. We're going for like tiger maple, tiger eye vibe. Which means we got some sand in the dew. Now I'm gonna leave the inside tiger eye, like with this cherry cola vibe, I think, inside. And then from everything on the outside is gonna have that honeycomb, that honey hue on the top when I sand all this down. So let's start with this piece right here. We might as well. If you are just joining me now, I took this Mesa Boogie Nomad 55. It's a classic. Mesa Boogie amp. It's well, it's it's actually like a little bit of a sacrilege moment where I ripped apart a Mesa Boogie amplifier. But it's made of freaking plywood. So we made a flaming, ridiculous maple Mesa Boogie. And it's going to be done today. We're, I've done six parts. This is about six hours worth of content. I'm going to try to get into about 20 minutes or 30 minutes on the Mark Has Wood channel on YouTube. The last sand. One more time before we do it, because this is kind of perfect. I mean, look at this. Let me see if you can see this. Look at this wood. This is the most ridiculous piece of flamed maple. It's called like a quilted maple. It's just stupid crazy. And we're gonna sand it down. Oh, I'm crazy, I know. But why are you doing that, Mark? Cause you'll see it's gonna look even better after, I promise. So we have some lots of white showing there. Open your eyes Open your mind's eye Open your mind You can hear the angels singing Each of these surfaces. Get that hair to stand up before we go yellow. Boogie Nomad. Redoing it. Ridiculous flame maple finish. Ooh, it's gonna be ridiculous. You see these two colors right now? Look at that. Oh! The weather values better. done with the finish and then we have to do the most important part spray a ton of lacquer all over this puppy and we got a insane Mesa Boogie yeah. this was a Nomad 55 <clears throat> this is how it started regular amp from the factory, you made a freaking crap plywood. I'm sorry, this is Mark Has Wood. I have a channel on YouTube called Mark Has Wood. This will all be on there when I finish this project. We're almost done. Using black and white, they're calling you names because you got no other choice. I make my own dots. I think that's the best way to work with wood. Enough. 
believe how good this is looking right now. I can. I've been seeing it in my mind the whole time. But let me just show you. So this is all drying. Sides. This is a bird's eye maple here on the back. And if you can see it on the inside, it's like this beautiful, beautiful color right now. It's going to be hard for you to see until it's done. I'm going to take a ton of photos and post them afterwards. The whole project will be on my Mark Inspires YouTube channel and on Mark Has Wood. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. This is going to be sitting behind me every time I go live, and I've been live 1938 days in a row, so every day I'm live, you're going to see this thing right behind me. And this has to be in there somehow. Just have to put this in in the back. This will plug in to the head. This was what was in there originally behind it. We got rid of that. We made this cool little piece of bird's eye maple behind it. We need yellow, and I don't think I have enough here. I mean, this could work. This could be enough. We'll see. So take a train, take a plane, you could drive, yeah, get there how you can, cause you don't know when your last breath gonna come and go, oh, yeah, the world's light. Alright, that, that goes a long way, trust me. I'm gonna fill this fucker up. So now we have a full yellow. Hey, you got to get, yeah, you can't see the back, no. We'll do a little test strip and make sure it's, it's, uh, strong ready guys almost ready for the final coat so excited. you guys excited to see this I don't know if anybody freaking cares at all but this is a pretty big deal to rip apart a classic amplifier and be like mm, maybe it will work out okay <clears throat> so this is what we've done we took this plywood crap amplifier. It's not crap. It's a Mesa Boogie amplifier. Like I said, this is sacrilege to some people. Took a Mesa Boogie amplifier, looked at it yesterday, and I was like, I'm ripping that mother apart. We're building it back from scratch into a flamed maple Mesa Boogie amp. So Nomad 55, goodbye. Mark Mad, out of his freaking mind. Mark has wood. This is the final coat. We started with a black dye. I sanded it all down. We added the red dye. I sanded it all down. We are on the yellow dye. We're about to add it. Don't go anywhere. Here we go. Woo! I want you to see what it looks like now. Just so you can get a feel. <clears throat> This is what's called like marbled maple. This is like the most ridiculous maple you could ever find. This is the sanded down red. We're going with yellow right now. Let's do it. You guys have waited long enough and I want to finish this fucker and get to the show. I'm about to play a show in an hour and I want to play this thing. I don't know if it'll be done. I'm going to spray a couple coats of lacquer on it and see if it dries. If it does, we're playing it. If it doesn't, I'll show it off and tomorrow we'll be playing it. Anyway, here we go. <laughs> I'm getting excited. Oh my gosh, it looks so freaking ridiculous! Ah! This is insane! I... <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh my goodness! Guys, wait till you see it! It's gonna freaking blow your mind! <laughs> what? This is insane! Wait till it's lacquered, it's sprayed, and it's glossy. Oh my gosh. Alright, let's keep going. It is insane. Can I 
zoom in more so you can see this marbling. I think you, you should be able to see it. Guys, look at that. They're trying to cover you up, cover you behind all of the pretty little lies they Get it. put on the screen. Why do you still have to put it together? But you gotta be deserving. Yeah, use your common sense if you got any left or whatever. I started with black. After, after I did the black, I was like, that looks sick. Take a look. And then you see on the black there, when I do the red, you're like, don't touch it. But it looks awesome. And you're like, stand it. Then you do this. What? hasn't even been sprayed with lacquer yet. Look at that definition. Woo-wee! That's how you define flamed maple. Uh, the mark has wood channel. I swear it's shining oh. bright beyond the clouds. And the clouds can be reliable. Most beautiful flame maple. You can't wait. Let's see, but that's bird's eye maple at the back. Flame maple on the inside, but we went with like a brandy. This is what it is. Yes! Yes! Now we just have to let it dry, and then we're going to spray the freaking heck out of it and we'll have a finished amplifier to be rocking out on every single day on my show. That thing's gonna be rocked out on. <laughs> See you guys, I'll be back. We're finishing this up, spraying the lacquer next. This is what's called a tack cloth. And then what I'm gonna do is just make sure we don't have any dust on here before we spray it with lacquer. Just lightly touching it. That's all I'm doing. I don't wanna touch any of my beautiful finish here. All right, we're ready to roll. A new 
You guys ready to see this? I'm letting it breathe. So what's in it for you anyway? Life everlasting, it sounds good to me. I don't want to be stuck on the sidelines when it comes to a close. I'm an amp builder, I guess. Yeah, with my sword in my head, yeah. I'll fight any man. That's insane wood. And then all this wood back here is wood that I cut myself last year. And I'll be making things out of this on Mark Has Wood, which is my YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe. But also subscribe there on YouTube. That's where I'll be live in a few minutes. Guys, this thing's looking ridiculous. It's drying nicely. I'm gonna let it sit and simmer. I think it's gonna be a really beautiful amplifier. That'll do, that'll do my friends, that'll do. A little flame maple there. There's the backing piece for my speaker. When you get the calling The world could be falling Don't matter, no You got to lace up your shoes and go It could be throwing rocks, throwing stones you could be living in the twilight zone. This is crap now. This is the old Mesa Boogie box. We're just here, divided and conquered and hating on each other. Doesn't that sound familiar? It's freaking tiger. Maple ridiculousness. This used to be just a nomad, you just saw it. And then I built this, just today and yesterday. I gotta put the head in here now, guys. I shouldn't, I was planning on waiting until like, I don't know, doing 10 more coats, but I think this is, let's at least get it set and then we can always. I think once I put it together, I'm not gonna want to spray it again. Seeing this, only God can see, only God can see. Only God. We got our line. Let me just move this for now. We're going to put it someplace safe. What's happening to me? Happening to you, only God can see. So
so don't let your mind get tangled Don't let your soul get bogged down Amplifier ready to roll here, guys. Life's hard, wear a helmet. Life's hard, life's hard, get a helmet. Don't you know? Life's hard, wear a helmet. Done. Let's get the baby. Pedal. Oh, 
I think we are almost done. We still have to put on the face here, which is like the last, 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 last. So just sliding it in and giving it to Oh, yes. All right, so if all goes well right now, starting it for the first time. I hope it works. Ready? Light on. Light on. That's good. Sign. Let's see what we got. Guys, it works! Oh. again it's freaking up and running pumped pumped Whew, Mesa boogie. another project completed on the Marquez wood channel on YouTube thank you for watching please turn on all notifications and leave a comment and share we're here every day on the Mark Inspires channel and also dropping crazy builds like this on Marquez wood so make sure you subscribe to both channels and if you enjoyed the music, you could download 209 songs on iTunes and Spotify. Just type in Mark Pyers. We'll see you live. Thanks for watching.